Welcome to another video of e-resource management. In this video, we are going to discuss that how we can receive a print periodical after placing the order and when we start receiving the issues in different month. So, I am taking the example of Koha. In Koha, how do we receive the entry? How do we receive the print periodical? And what are the things to be taken care before we receive the journal in Koha? First of all, it is very important to understand that Koha is an integrated library management system and it is open source integrated library management system which helps to manage the library operations very easily. In this video, I assume that you have you have Koha functional in your computer and now we are going to start the process how we can receive the print periodical or how we can manage the other e-resources in Koha. So let's start now. In order to receive a print periodical or any issues in Koha, the first thing that you have to prepare the schedule. So let me start the Koha interface. To start the Koha interface, you have to follow the same procedure. First, you have to log in with your user ID and password and you will be getting the Koha staff interface. Once you logged in, after that, you have to understand two things. If you are going to manage your print periodical with Koha, I mean to say that if you are going to manage your purchase order also with Koha, so in that case you have to define the budget for managing serial and accordingly you have to place the order. The another thing is that if you don't want to manage the Koha, if you don't want to manage the print periodical orders with Koha, so in that case you can simply receive the issues in Koha without placing the order through Koha and you can receive the issues in Koha and display in the online public access catalog so that users can access. So I am going to show you here that how we can receive the loose issues in Koha. So in order to receive the loose issues in Koha, the first thing that is very important and that is you have to prepare the schedule of all the ordered journals or ordered periodicals. So in order to do that, first you have to create the vendor because it will help you to generate the report if you are giving the vendor. So when you order, you know that this particular print periodical has been ordered to this vendor. So to create the vendor, the process is same as we follow in book purchase. So simply click on acquisition and it will open the window where you have to create the vendor. So you can see here that it has opened another window and now I am going to click on new vendor 
and here I will fill all the details required to do the entry of one new vendor. So see here I am just going to enter one name for example Vimal Books and I am not going to fill up all the details and here I am going to give the delivery time 45 days or 15 days whatever is your policy and uh, I'm not going to fill any other detail and just click save so I have recorded the name of one vendor in Koha uh, database and further I'll be preparing the schedule of all the ordered journal to this vendor so that when the vendor starts sending to library I can receive easily so my job is is over here now let us go to the serial module you can go from here also or you can go directly from the main staff interface so just click on serial okay so here there is a button new subscription just click on this and it will open the window for subscribing that entering the detail of new subscription in Koha database yes we got the screen now so as you can see that it is asking to enter the detail of vendor but remember if you are not going to do the purchase process with Koha so in that case you can skip this vendor but it is always good at our part that if you enter the vendor detail we can generate the report easily in case you are having large number of print periodicals against each vendors so generating report will become easy so I'll just click on search for a vendor if the vendor entry is recorded in database it will show the vendor name and you have to select accordingly so for example I gave Vimal so I'll simply type the name of vendor and search it if it is recorded in database it will show the name of that vendor here you can see that it has shown now I can choose this and if you don't want to search and if you know the exact ID of the vendor that also you can enter the next is create a record of the new periodical which you want to receive so just click on create record it has opened the mark framework and here you have to enter the detail of the journal so suppose I am using the customized framework so I can choose the respective framework of the journal or serial which will give me only the required field you can see here so you can see here that it is showing only the minimum field which I require now I have to record the entry of the journal so the first three record we don't have to enter anything here the ISSN number for example I give like this then you have to enter the title of the journal for example journal of library I give one example and then you can record all other necessary detail like who is where it is published what is the name of publisher and year of publication likewise you can enter all the detail and once it is over you can give the title uh, means URL also once it is over you select the item type and click on save so once it is saved it will be recorded in the database
you can see here that if the item is duplicate it will show that duplicate record suspected if you are sure no it is a new record so save as new record and the journal will be detail of the journal will be recorded as a new record in the koha database so here we complete the one step of adding the record now the next step is that the added record to be added in schedule what we are preparing now so once you save the first screen after saving it will take to the next screen which is for adding adding the item detail of the particular journal or book so here i am not going to do anything because it is not required at this stage i'll just close this window and now since we have created the record it has to be added here so for that we need to search and it takes one minute time to index the newly added record in the database so here we have to search that record which we have added just now and then we will proceed for rest of the portion in order to prepare the schedule of journal okay so my journal name is journal of library and then i click on search okay so here you have to see that which one is the correct you may find many record based on your added record so i just click on choose and i got the record number 3 which is added as journal of library okay next is that remember you are going to skip the issue number or keep the issue number it is up to you if there is a irregular issue so in that case you can skip the issue number or if there is a regular issue you can keep the issue number one more important thing is that whether you want to create item record while receiving the serial or you do not want to create item record while receiving the serial it is advisable not to create because each journal will not have the different accession number or the different item so not to create item record while receiving the serial then you have to choose the library if you are having the multiple library in that case you have to select a library from the drop down list else it will be recorded in the main library after that you have to choose the location where it will be kept then how much uh, how many days you are you are willing to give as a grace period so suppose i give 15 days and then i am leaving this and click on next so when i click on next it gives me that planning of serial how you are going to manage so we have to mention the record first issue publication date i assume that it is published in january 1st 2018 and frequency of this journal is one per month so if i record the frequency as one per month it means there are 12 issues in a year then what is the subscription start date i take it as a 1st january 2018 i give the in date as a 31st december 2018 and then we have to choose the numbering pattern numbering pattern decides the display on opac and how it is going to be received also so i take it as a volume and number and then accordingly i will proceed for receiving the journal so here when i select the numbering pattern it is asking me that from which volume it will start let's say i give volume number 12 it will start from number 
and it will go up to 12. And here very good thing is given in Koha database, Koha uh, library management software that you can predict the pattern before you save it. So I click on test predict pattern so that we will confirm that it is going to be recorded in this order. You can see here that the pattern is correct. All the issues are having volume number 12 starting from 1 to 12. So I can save it now. Just save subscription. Okay, that's done. We have successfully recorded the detail of one journal in Koha database and we have scheduled it. Now our next job is to receive the issues, loose issues when it is arrived in the library and if any issues any issue is not arriving on time so we have to mark it as a late entry and later we have to claim it so in this video we have seen that how to record the entry of one journal in Koha database and how to prepare the schedule in next video we are going to see that when it arrives in the library how do we receive it so thanks for watching this video we'll see more in next video.